if you remember from one of the previous one or two videos where we were making the respawn timer or the respawn locations I mentioned a function called post login and that is on the game mode so what the, I'm going to go ahead and reiterate what the post login is doing let's say okay the server's up a client connects to the server well that post login function is going to automatically run and it's going to pass in a player controller which is the controller of the player that is joining the server so we're going to change up how we initially spawn which is currently like this as you can see we spawn together right here on this network player start we're going to change that up so we spawn just like we would if we were killed so we would spawn at one of our random spawn locations instead of the player start now if we go over here and look at the post login function that's inside the game mode you will see the only parameter it takes in is a player controller so we're going to go ahead and create that so yeah, we're going to do right under here so we're going to override it so we're going to do virtual void post login a player controller new player and override now we're going to go ahead and copy it and create a definition uh, I'm going to do it below begin play so void a survival character then that crap now what is that right post login a yep wait a second that should be fine let's build unless I typoed something it's not a member of survival character Oh, for some reason I did a survival character and not game mode. Sorry. Now let's build it. Yeah, we're good to go now. Duh. So what we're going to do from here is we're simply going to take our player controller that's being passed in. We're going to cast that to a normal controller, just a controller, and then call our spawn function. And we don't have to do anything else. And that's set up because that's the main reason I separated respawn and spawn was so we could simply do that. So let's first go ahead and cast it. So if a controller controller equals cast a controller from new player. And if that is the case, meaning we have our controller, we call spawn and pass in controller. So let's go ahead and build. and you will notice something here when we delete our players our network player start because we have overridden the post login function we should not spawn at all just like well we do spawn oh, yeah, that's right I already called spawn sorry so yeah we are spawning correctly if I didn't pass that in I'll just show you an example because we have to do one more thing to this function as well because if you would noticed uh, when I was playing just then our HUD was gone and I want to show you something important about overriding functions wait for this to finish All right. as you can see because we haven't set up ourselves to spawn anything we're just we literally we haven't spawned any at all we've just little cameras floating around now what I was trying to say was if you recall we didn't have a HUD well anytime you're overriding a function like this in Unreal Engine like a virtual function always call super so super post login new player now when we build 
we will be spawning because I uncommented this line we'll be spawning at a random location as well as our HUD will reappear because we had the super line so play and we have one player here the other player over there why in the world is there two people over here Now we're together. All right, so I want to go ahead and test this and dedicate it and see if that's the reason why there's two random characters spawning. All right, yeah, that was why. So because I had a... Uh, so you can ignore that. The reason that was happening is because inside the editor when we set number of players to two, I'll just show you if, even with one, it's going to go ahead and create the character here, which is essentially what we're supposed to be possessing. But since we called set, or we set ourselves to possess a different character, so we're spawning another actor and then possessing that actor, this character here to my left, the default one, He's just literally a dummy, nothing going on, but it's just still there. So that can be ignored if you're just testing in the editor. If you test and dedicated like I just did, this doesn't happen. So blame the editor. <laughs> Anyways, to reiterate what we just did, literally the only thing we did was we set up our post login function to literally call our spawn function and pass in our controller that we got from the player that is joining the server. That's literally it. So all that does is we create an actor, then we possess the actor, or well in our case, pawn. That's it. So hopefully that was useful and that kind of concludes, at least for now, our spawning setup. And we'll move on to something else I still have no idea yet. Oh well. I'll just see you in the next one.